off with our morning message. Let's read it together. Good morning, class. Today is Friday, March 20th, 2020. Today, we will be using a ruler to measure. I would like for you to measure three items using a ruler. Love, Mrs. Lawson. Before you go find a ruler, I want to review a couple of things that we did in math this week. The first thing is counting by 100 all the way to 1,000. Let's count together. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. I also want you to tell me what congruent means. Do you remember? Was that a big enough clue? Let's say it together. Congruent means that they are the same shape and the same size. One more time. Congruent means that the shapes are the same shape and the same size. Good job. Now, do you have a ruler at home? Why don't you try measuring three things with your ruler and you could use the inch side or the centimeter side. Ask your mom to help. Have a good day. Good morning. Today is Friday, March 20th. We're almost finished our week. There's only one more day. What day would that be? That's right, it's Saturday. Let's say the days of the week together. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is the 20th of March. And we're going to look at the number 20 today. Is 20 an even number or an odd number? That's right. It's an even number because it ends with a zero. There are two digits in the number 20. The first digit is in the tens place, and that is telling us that there's two groups of 10 in this number. There's a zero in the ones place, which means there aren't any extra ones at all. This is the other side of our card. We can see that there are two groups of 10 in our 20 and nothing else. We can count these together. 10, 20. We're going to take a look at our hundreds chart and see if we can find out the missing numbers. I have one missing number on the top row. It's between 5 and 7. What number would that be? Did you guess it? I have one number missing on the second row. It's right underneath the 1. So if we added 10 to 1, what number would it be? That's right, it's 11. This is my fourth row, and I have one missing. It's right between 35 and 37. What number would that be? And down here, right underneath 44, what number would that be? I hope you said 54. And then there's one more, right beside 78. What number comes after 78. That's right, it's 79. We are going to count backwards today, starting at 30. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to go over our clock. What time does my clock say? It says 12 o'clock. What time is it now? It's 12.30. 1 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock, 2.30, 3 o'clock, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.
4 o'clock. Did you say 4.30? It's 5 o'clock. 5.30. 6 o'clock. When it's 6 o'clock, the minute hand is pointing to the 12. And the hour hand is pointing straight down to the 6. It's 6.30. It's 7 o'clock. 7.30. 8 o'clock. 8.30. 9 o'clock. 9.30. 10 o'clock. This time, let's count by five as we go around. Five, 10, 15, 20. What time is it? 10, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. What time is it now? It's 11 o'clock. Let's skip count by the number four. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, and 48. Counting fours is really great. Let's practice skip counting by six. And this one is new, so you'll need to listen the first time and then watch it again. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, 72. We've skip counted sixes, now let's count some more. Today we're looking at taking away two from a number or subtracting two. Our question says five take away two. What would our answer be? Three. Our next question is six take away two. What would our answer be? It's four. Six take away two is four. Our next question is three take away two? What would our answer be? One. Three take away two is one. When you're practicing taking away two, I would like for you to use some objects to help you.